did remain unchanged at 4.2 percent. The reverse repo rate stands unchanged at 3.35 percent. MPC also decided to continue with the accommodative stance of monetary policy as long as necessary, at least through the current financial year and into the next year, to revive growth on a durable basis and mitigate the impact of COVID-19 while ensuring that inflation remains within the target going forward. Remain unchanged at 4.2%. The reverse repo rate stands unchanged at 3.35%. MPC also decided to continue with the accommodative stance of monetary policy as long as necessary, at least through the current financial year and into the next year. जी से सवाल पूछता हूं आप सामाजिक समरसता और सामाजिक न्याय की बात करते हैं आपके अपने घर के अंदर दलित नेता जो आपके थे जो आपके पार्टी के थे आपने उनकी हत्या करवाई और यह पूरा विषय आप ही के पार्टी के नेता की पत्नी ने एफ के रूप में दर्ज कराया है आप आज चुप क्यों हैं इसका जवाब कौन देगा तेजस्वी जी इसका जवाब कौन देगा तेज प्रताप जी कौन देगा कौन देगा इसका जवाब कि आपने करोड़ों लाखों रुपए का इसमें घपला किया है कौन जवाब देगा कि आपने उगाई करने की कोशिश की है वैक्सीन डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया इनिशियली द आईसीएमआर वैक्सीन पोर्टल विल ओनली रिफ्लेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन कोविड 19 वैक्सीन इन इंडिया However, with time, the web portal will be strengthened with data available for all the vaccines used to prevent various diseases. Currently, three COVID vaccine candidates are in different phases of clinical study. They include the Bharat Biotech vaccine, DNA vaccine, and the recombinant Oxford University vaccine. The vaccine portal will contain sections including COVID-19 vaccine, countries initiative, international symposium, and FAQ for the general public. The portal will be available in all the regional languages. The portal will also provide information from WHO regarding COVID-19. Up next, a quick look at the COVID-19 situation from across the nation. India's recovery rate has further improved to 82.58%. During the last 24 hours, 74,893 patients have recovered and they were discharged. The health ministry said that the total number of recoveries has reached 50,16,520. The constantly increasing recoveries have ensured that the actual caseload of the country has reduced and currently comprised.